Okay, so if you're this far into our videos, video one, we covered what is a theme? Video two, we went to like, how do you make an incredible theme? In this video, we're gonna show you how to make it perfect. This is the third video in the Data Gods Masterclass on theme generation. We're gonna show you how you actually further refine and refactor your theme and to, as part of this, we're going deep into Power BI Tips uh, Theme Generator. Now, one of the best things about Power BI uh, Tips Theme Generator is you can actually see as you're making changes to the settings, you can see what it looks like inside of the Theme Generator. This is actually what, what's on the side here is a Power BI embedded experience that has the theme being applied to it live while you're doing the build out. So you can see what your changes are looking like as you make it. So it's an awesome place to get started and working with this. But this is not where you should stop right? Like this is great, but you're going to extract your theme and you're going to actually start to pull up the values that, that you have, and you're going to apply that to a report. And I want you to actually go in and take a look at what your theme is doing for each of the visuals that you have in place, right? Like I know Mike and their theme generator is great, but you know what? There's always room for issues and bugs. And maybe you've created a theme that isn't quite exactly what you're hoping for or create some sort of like some visual appeal that's just not gonna be great. So what I highly recommend doing is taking a Power BI file like this one, and, and this is out, uh, um, I'll make sure that this gets out on my uh, Kratos BI uh, Git repo someplace, although yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see about that. But go through and look at what does every visual look like once you've applied this custom theme, right? And this means no settings in place, no customizations, what are your visuals gonna look like, right? And so that's what I've kind of done with this report is I've kind of taken every visual that's inside of Power BI that I could be using and I've created or I've applied the theme to take a look at it, right? And you really wanna make sure that you're doing that because you never know when you know, the JSON, which is all a theme really is, if your JSON gets kind of screwed up, you know, for whatever reason, you actually, you know, you put in a, a bracket or something like that. And, you know, as you're typing something in, you can come up with something that doesn't look right, right? Um, be able to like go in, look at the report a report in your system using your formatting can really help you, you know, look at each visual and figure out like, Hey, does my key influencers visual look right? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I need to be re re honing and refactoring this. If that's the case, Hey, great. Pop back over to power BI tips, head over to the, the properties and go down to, Oh, excuse me, uh, go down to that visual, whichever visual it is, the, the key influencers visual, and go in and make some changes. Maybe I want my background color to be white on this visual, or I don't know, turquoise blue, right? Probably not, not a great idea, but like, you know, maybe we want to like go in and define these things. Maybe we want our divider to like, and you know what, that's actually probably a really good one. On my divider, I want it to be my orange, right? So it's it really stands out. And my uh, 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 you know drill visual colors, I want it to be this, right? Uh, you know my my Kratos BI blue theme. So all I do is save it. Wait for it to save. Download it. And I'll open up where it's at. Move it over into my themes file. Well, actually, no, I won't. I'll just test out what that theme file looks like. So I'll go over to my report. I'll go browse for themes. And it's in my downloads folder. So where did my downloads go? Downloads. Grab the theme I just created. Import it. Got it. And now I can go in and I can look at 
the report and see what changes have been made to see if this is looking right. Now, I see, aha, the the blue is working. I don't like this. Like, look at this. Now I can I can barely read that key influencers and top segments, right? So this is just one place where I need to like go back and make changes to my my theme in order to like adjust that. So I would just pop back over to here, go in and adjust that that color and that that text. I'm not going to go through and do every single one, but I could go in, make that refactoring, publish it, and then I'm good to go. And then all I have to do is I have to continue to just kind of bounce back and forth between Power BI tips, this report file, and make sure everything is looking right, right? Then I can be assured that like, hey, yeah, what I've done in Power BI tips looks great. It has the intended design purposes that I'd like, and then I'm good to go. Now, I know what you might be saying. You're saying like, okay, hey, Chris, it's great that you know, you test out each of the visuals that we go in and do that stuff. But what if I want to like actually test a report page? I say, aha, that is an excellent point. And that's actually one of the things that we have inside of here. So let's go take a look at that. So we start with our visuals. Right, we've got our visual examples in place. We test all these things out, make sure that these look right, that uh, our slicers look the way they'd want. We've got our uh, our map, our As Osri maps. Oh, I'm gonna have to rename some of these. Um, but then we have a sample report that uses our most common visuals using the layout and structure that I have inside of uh, you know our our common themes and our common backgrounds that we use inside of Creative BI. And we take a look at what does this do to the layout of my reports? Would my reports be okay if they look like this? Do I see anything, any glaring issues, right? And honestly, you know what? Everything is looking kind of good, except for, you know what? Look at this. Oops, look at this. Those numbers are way too big. If I look at this, I don't want my numbers to be too big in my subtotals. So you know what I'm going to do? It's something I didn't catch on looking at the individual visuals, but looking in the context of a given report, I could see that, hey, this is going to be an issue. And I can actually even see it over here. Look at this. This is too big, right? It's too big on this one too. So I can even go in on this visual and I can find like, okay, hey, on my row subtotals, scroll down to my values, what's the value? Okay, what do I want it to be? Oh, you know what, 10 is what looks good. All right, so if I've got the setting in place, I'm gonna wanna go into the theme generator, change it over to 10, and then check to make sure that this comes right. Now, big pro tip is there's also this re set to default. So before I go over to Power BI Tips and make that adjustment to my theme, I'm gonna reset this visual to the default. So when I come in and apply the update, I know that it's working as I would expect it to. All right, this is the, this is the process. You go through to like quickly iterate through the visualizations and, and what it's gonna look like inside of your reports to really just make this pitch perfect, all right? Now, in the next video, we're gonna be running through and showing you how, once you get everything right, how you can take this theme and apply it to the rest of your organization so that you know it becomes ready, readily available to everyone. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Hey, if you're getting, getting stuff out of this, make sure you've liked and subscribed, leave a comment down below, all that good stuff. And no secret, I'm a consultant at Baker Tilly, right over there. <laughs> if you need help, don't worry, I got you. We got people. Head over to bakertilly.com slash digital. Click on need some help. Mention that I sent you over there, right? In fact, I don't think I've ever said that. Tell them I sent you. We'll, we'll get you taken care of. Don't worry about it. But I got faith in you. And so I've got videos here that will help you take on your toughest challenges.